Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Priscilla. I'm the owner of A Life Full of Simplicity. Today I'll be flipping through the Modern Witch Tarot deck by Lisa Sterl and published by Liminal Eleven. I have been using this in my Cozy Tarot Sunday videos. And I did say I would post a flip through. This is the only Liminal Eleven deck that is literally not on my channel. All my other Liminal Eleven decks have already been posted. So yes finally going to be flip throughed on this channel i did originally unbox it on my instagram and that's why it wasn't on this channel uh when i first made it so yes i bought this a long time ago i don't know was it 2020 what's in 2019 i don't even know i bought this a while ago so i don't remember but i absolutely love this deck very modern. This deck is all female based or female and non binary based um, or non gender conforming based. Well, however you want to put it. Um, so I love that about this particular deck. It's definitely a popular one. Definitely one that a lot of people hate the cardstock of. I love the cardstock of this deck. <laughs> So I'm like the complete opposite. So in the back here, it shows some sample photos. It says modern witch tarot is a magical take on traditional tarot symbolism inspired by fashion and modern witches from every walk of life. Spark your imagination, seek your inner wisdom and discover your true power. So yes. So this is of course their old uh, box design where it doesn't have the flap at the bottom um the magnetic closure at the bottom like all their other boxes have which they they pretty much changed after this particular deck but if you press if you press it doesn't see if you don't press it it comes out but if you press it doesn't so yes so you open like this there's a design inside fun design absolutely love it then we have mw or mw and it says it on both sides and we have the same pattern inside here as well so i'll leave this here so you can see it okay so we have the cards, we have extra cards. So these are the two extra cards. Um, I typically don't keep them in my deck. They're, they usually remain in the box. Uh, so the first one is, you are a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. Through this deck, may you find a path to your best self. This can be used as, like, you can shuffle it in your deck if you wish to. You can use it as an altar card or a reminder card. Look at it when you're feeling down. Whatever you wish, it's there for you. And then there's this everything is fine card, which, again, you can use in the deck. And it can replace the Ten of Swords, which has the same imagery. I just prefer to um, keep them in the box. And I don't use them. Then we have the book. So the book is a hardcover, just like all their other books, pretty much, except for the Seed and Sickle, which it was their first bound paperback uh, guidebook, which I do love. But these are really cute. Um, all the tarot decks have them, and I do love them. There's the same design in the book itself, the end pages. I love we have contents a table of contents here with a forward an introduction major arcana minor arcana reading the tarot spreads and extra cards so we have the forward we have the introduction goes into the majors we have you know some little blurb information some black and white photos and then it goes straight into uh, the information for each card so for the majors it gives you one page her card uh, which is typical just like their other decks uh, it's upright only 
no reversals. And then it goes into the minors, and the minors are just a few sentences for each. You have a blurb here um, for the minor arcana, and then gives you each type and little keywords for each suit. And then it goes into the suit. So we have wands first. Cups. Sorry, cup started here. Then we go in the swords, and then pentacles last. So yeah, it's just a few sentences, like a paragraph. Nothing too extensive. This is a small book af after all, so yes. Then we have um, reading the tarot. So it does give you, you know, some suggestions of how uh, you can read the tarot. If you're a beginner, that's definitely something great to read. We have some spreads here. So we have a one card. We have a past, present, future advice. We have a positive, negative results advice. So different four card spreads. We have another one here where it's uh, the, called the four powers and it's six cards. Then we have the cunning path, the inner wheel. And then the extra cards are at the end. So yes, so that is the guidebook. So like usual, I will, um, you know, read a card after I uh, go through the cards, like I usually do. You know, very, very typical, typical stuff of me. So let's get into the cards. I did put them back in order um, so you can see how they are in the structure that they came. So here is the Fool. Let me just focus this. There we go. Uh, so here are the backs. So they are reversible. Uh, so yes, you can use reversals if you wish to do so. Love this. A very modern deck, I do have to say. She has an iPod here, or maybe her phone, and she's listening to music. So, yes, we have the Magician, who is on the cover of the box. Love her. Then we have the High Priestess. Working on her laptop. I love this Empress. She is beautiful. I love her so much. We have the Emperor. The Hierophant. Has tattoos and everything. Very cool. Keeps to the symbology though. We have the keys here. We have the two people. They're holding a staff, all that good stuff. Then we have the lovers, the chariot. Love this chariot. Definitely a badass with the motorcycle and everything. And you have that skyline in the background. Really cool. Strength. The Hermit. I love this because it definitely resonates a lot with like the act of needing to just step away from the computer and like social media or like whatever it is that you're doing on there. So I definitely resonate, you know, take some time for the inner self. We have justice. We have the Hanged One, so the Hanged Man, love this. We have Death, very RWS clone. <laughs> love this Temperance card. Temperance is associated with my sun sign, so I definitely relate more to this Temperance sign. 
uh, this temperance card rather than other temperance cards. Like, I love this. The vibe of it is, is nice. And then we have the devil. We have the tower, which is really rough. I have to say, this tower card is really rough. Like, look at this girl. She's on a... <laughs> she's, like, in, embedded in a, in a cl pointy cliffside. And then there's this person falling out. Damn. <laughs> it's, like, real rough. And then we have the star in all her nude glory. The moon. This one's weird. <laughs> She's creepy. Then we have um, these two women being wild and wearing masks and doing fun witchy stuff in the moonlight. Which is always fun, I guess. With the sun. We have the judgment card. Love the body diversity here. I love seeing body diversity. I love all the aces in this deck because of the hands. The hands are just gorgeous. And those nails, though. Oh, I wish I could have nails like that. We have the two. She's also very beautiful. Three again, body diversity. Love to see it. We have the four. The five. We have the six of wands. I love her. Super badass. Her too. She's very badass, this chick. The eight. I love that they're, they added the motorcycle and it's not just like traditional uh, RWS where it's just the wands. I love this. And then we have the nine. The ten. This deck is like really easy to read. So if you want a good beginner deck, definitely recommend. If you feel like you need more information than what's provided in the guidebook, you can definitely just get a, you know, a regular tarot reference book. The imagery and symbolism is really close to RWS. This is literally what would be considered a clone, so no issues whatsoever. The cardstock is uh, like a lamination glossy cardstock. So if you are a riffle shuffler, a shuffler, or a bridge shuffler, or both, you'll have a very hard time with this cardstock. I will tell you this right now. I do not shuffle that way. I shuffle overhand. So I have no issues whatsoever. And I love this cardstock, actually. It's one of my favorites from them. They have the this type of cardstock in this deck and also in the Cosmic Slumber, which I also love. But a lot of people didn't like it, so they changed their cardstock to matte. And their cardstock now feels a little bit cardboardy. But it's very matte. And it sticks together because it's not that type of mat that's like glides or slides. It's very sticky. But with use, it like loosens up. But I like this better because it just glide. They just glide. Like they just glide off each other, which I love. So, yeah. I love when the Seven of Cups is traditional and then I can see what, everything that's in the cups. <laughs> We have a snake here, the 
tornado. Eight. We have the nine. Ten of Cups, pretty traditional. <laughs> She's so cute, this page. Knight, Queen, and the King. Ace of Swords. The two. I love her dress. Three is pretty traditional. The four. She seems very anguished because she can't rest. So, yeah. A lot on her mind is uh, my take on that Four of Swords. Then we have the seven. The nine. And the ten. This is my favorite ten of swords. <laughs> she can't even be bothered. <laughs> which I love. Eh, whatever. These swords are in me. Let me just uh, scroll through Instagram. <laughs> That's what that um, card gives me. <laughs> Those kind of vibes. And it's all good. It's okay. Even when it's not. Queen. And then we have the king. Lastly, we have the pentacles. I love this suit. Uh, like, look at her dress. Body positivity. I love this. Teacher, student, the model. Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Ooh, gifts. Gifts, 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 gifts. Seven. This is supposed to be the creator of this deck. <laughs> Which I love. We have the nine. I love this card. Farmer life. Garden life. Gardening. Farming. With the ten. The page, the knight. Ah, oh, I love her. Look at that bunny, though. So cute. And we have the king. We have the king. Okay, let's shuffle this. Okay, we're going to read strength. Strength. Oh, before I do that, it's the same size as traditional tarot. Just to let you know. Just to let you know. Okay. Let's read the strength card. Let's find it first, actually, in the book. Here we go, strength. 
Difficult problems require strength and willpower. Strength can tame a lion face down her fears and unwanted feelings, bringing them under control through grace and acceptance. Only by reconciling uh, with those scary aspects of ourselves can strength grow and discover true inner calm. Flowers create a link between strength and the lion, and this connection can't be severed. These inner passions, these emotions that feel like they're spiraling out of control and consuming us need to be accepted peacefully or they'll end up controlling us. It will take courage to approach these possibly frightening aspects of yourself. It will also take compassion and tenderness as only then can you find the inner strength and power to make yourself whole. You have to accept your fears, your anxieties, and your feelings because they are a part of you. You can't cut them off. You may find yourself dealing with a difficult problem, but it can be dealt with through grace, maturity, and strength. And this is what I read. Let me focus. There we go. This is what I read. So I read this whole page. So yes, that was the Modern Witch Tarot. Let me know uh, what you think about this deck. This deck is very popular, so I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. I'm sure a lot of people have it. If you don't, that's okay. Let me know in the comments why not. I'd love to hear from you and your opinion below. And if you do have it, let me know how you use it. Uh, is there a specific way that you use it? Is it like an everyday deck? I'd love to hear from you as well. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on that bell so you can be notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.